welcome to Indie Select, where today we'll be playing Orion Trail. Think Oregon Trail meets Star Trek. And that is a game I gotta play. Now this is the early alpha demo, and usually I'm kinda wary about playing alpha releases, but this just seemed so amusing that I just had to give it a shot. So we're gonna try it out right now. The sprite animation on this is great. All right, let's just get a little familiar with here. All right, got my resources. All right, seems good. Um, choose your mission. All right, this is the the ravenous alien queen beast, the albino snake people, a headhunter. Let's do let's do a headhunter. Let's get let's get excited. A headhunter contract is available to provide an able crew for the time traveling cruise ship, the Transpirian. Serving aboard, the Transpirian is every crew member's dream. The tricky part is finding as many as you can in time for the launch. Reach the end of the trail with as many crew members as you can muster. All right, I'm a good captain. I can gain a large crew and keep the crew. All right, choose my captain. Got attack, tactics, diplomacy, science, bravado. All right, now I know two things captain needs. He needs bravado and he needs tactics. And you know what a lot of, uh, a lot of attack can do as well. Agile, curious, noppy. Simric? Uh, Simric Manx, aka Grubby Cat, let's go. You will be my captain. All right, what ship do I want here? I got, I want, I want to keep my people safe. All the attack. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. All right, my officer. I can go for the, the attractive blonde. I can go for the menacing AI from obviously Space Odyssey. Or I can go for Kraid, I guess, from TMNT. All right, what do I need here? I need, uh, I need diplomacy. I need science. Um, let's go with the brain robot. He's always a fun one, I guess. It, it just sounds interesting. All right, officers. Slapdash. Good old Constance Fillure or Drea. Uh, uh, let's, let's try to even it out. Good old Slapdash 3000, and that's just an amusing name, so you know I'm gonna love that. Yeah, and let's add on, let's add on to our Diplomacy and Science. Diplomacy and Science. Ivanya Umber. Here we go. We gotta get to the end. And we gotta keep all these resources, and holy crap! Look at the, <laughs> these people down here! Oh, Captain's freaking out. All right, Orion's Buckle. You've reached the asteroid field known as Orion's Buckle. Oh man, the music just got tense. Today it appears dense with asteroids of all shapes and sizes. Crossing won't be easy. Anything could happen in there. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna get. So let's see. Uh, Convince ships to go through with you. Engineer a compound to dissolve asteroids. Hitch a ride on asteroids. You know what? Good old hitch a ride. Let's get some help from the good old asteroids. 17. What does that mean? No one takes issue with your rock solid reasoning, and you land on a nearby drifting asteroid. You peer out the window, cackling wildly the longer your asteroid goes without hitting anything. Seeing your excitement, your navigator waits to tell you how off course this piggyback ride has taken you. You are super off course. Lose 200 gas, 200 fuel. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, Grumpy Cat. Oh no, Warp Weasel! <laughs> oh man, he is high! Your shop is infested with Warp Weasels! The departments are all arguing over who should take care of the problem. Once everyone has had a say, you consider your options. Alright, you know what, I need that fuel again, so... Use a prototype Weasel Spray. Let's see if my science can... I don't think that's gonna work at all. Glorbax Ghost! The lab filled the guns with the wrong weasel spray! Your team is actually armed with a highly experimental warp weasel aphrodisiac. After a few hours, they bust your ship and are shot into space. The rest of the vile chemical poured into the fuel tank. Okay. Alright, I'll take it. I got some fuel back. I lost this thing. I forget what that is, but whatever. Okay. Come on, Slapdash. You my main man. Snapsy and Brain Bees? Come on, Slapdash! 
You come upon a piece... <clears throat> you come upon a space colony that a titanic synapsian brain beast has made into its nest. The colonists within are mind slaves under the beast's complete control. Besides that, the colony appears bustling and bountiful. I'm not sure about this. This, this looks... This looks bad. Tap it to the psychic link. Splatter that brain matter. Board the colony alone. You know, I kind of like that. It's bustling and bountiful. You know, it seems it seems cool. I'll I'll, uh, I'll go it alone. My bravado. What, what does it get me? You wander the colony. Tin foil atop your head. Jackpot. <laughs> Leaving your blaster and translator behind. You carry a fuel pod back to your shuttle. When you return to your to your ship. The pod analysis indicates that it's actually a mind-lubricating energy drink with only traces of fuel. Ooh, is that worth the sacrifice? I don't know! No time to question myself! I'm the captain! I'm Grumpy Cat! I'm Cyric Manx! Come on, Slap Dash. Click Whistle. Umber. Umber. Alien Science Vessel. The sensors detect a highly advanced alien science vessel up ahead. They seem to be conducting invasive and elaborate scans of your ship. You make a note to change your password and prepare to take action. All right, what do I got here? Throw a party. Hail them and clear your throat loudly. Scan them right back. You know what, it's party time. My bravado, I'm hoping it pulls through this time. Let's have a party with these people. The party is on! All right, the aliens pass around some bizarre hallucinogenic foot scrub that really wrecks one of your officers. She eats almost all of the party food and then claims she is made of lasers and tries to fire herself out of your main cannon. It doesn't work. You know what? We got some food, though. We got some food out of that. I'll take the food. My attack is way down. I haven't even attacked anybody yet. Maybe I need to start attacking things. A perfectly paired paradox. A version of yourself dressed in a fancy vest appears on the bridge. I'm pretty sure that's an old Star Trek reference. I feel, I feel like I've seen that. Future you tells you to detour to a nearby planet before they can finish explaining. A second version of yourself appears covered in leeches and tells you not to listen to the first you. Oh, no. No. I don't trust any of you. Shoot them both! Pull out, your <laughs> pull out your blaster and fire two quick shots at each of the offending yous. Blam, blam! Both shots miss by a mile. <laughs> well dressed you pulls his own phaser and shoots both other versions of you dead, straightening his impeccably selected jerkin. The surviving you directs the ship towards a hefty hidden cache of treasures on the planet's surface. All right, good for my crew. Not good for me. But you know what? I will take on the identity as uh, the vest me. I prefer that anyway. Okay, I got 80 crew. I need, I need more crew. More crew for this mission. What do I got? What do I have here? Your anim animolicator <laughs> whirls to life, alerting you to a developing interdimensional rift ahead. This is your chance. Rifts like this one are the pin pinata of deep space. Be ready for anything. All right. Do I blast it? Do I use my tactics? Do I use my science? I use my science. Let's see. With a wave of your hand, your science team begins to prepare to create a door through the rift. I am rolling such low numbers. Ah, yeah, yeah. You manage to stabilize the rift, but suddenly there is a flash of purple light. Your officers feel funny. The entire ship's crew wake up in the refrigeration unit, and their beds are full of nutri paste. That's not good at all. Only my bravado can save me now! <laughs> Alright. Artificial enlightenment. Oh no, not you. The ship's computer informs you that it has achieved true artificial intelligence. That's nice, I guess. It explains it has learned all it can from the ship. Nice, I uh, know. I request your permission to leave. Uh, oh, I'm taking one of the ship shells with it. Do I let it go? Convince it that there's still a lot to learn, or that's nice. Wipe the memory drives. I have a feeling, AI, you you cannot have possibly learned everything. What about love? Can you love? The AI grudgingly agrees to stay on board, conceding the point to you that it doesn't yet understand why flatulence is funny. Aha! Of course, flatulence always win. Unfortunately, proving your point costs half the ship's total supplies of extra spicy nutri paste. Not the nutri paste. God, why? Why is your cost so high? Uh, 
At least my bravado is still up. Oh no, what am I low on? I'm low on food. I'm low on fuel. Okay. The way forward is obscured by an endlessly churning cosmic storm. Green light pulses and flashes from within the thick, vibrant clouds. How will you proceed? I need food. And I can rely on my bravado. I'm all in. Use faster than light travel to outrun the lightning strikes. Let's do it! Aha! You punch it! In a blinding flash, you create a hiccup in reality and emerge far beyond the storm. Hiccups in reality. <laughs> That's an everyday thing for me. <laughs> Grumpy cat captain. Reports are coming in that seem to indicate every one of the chairs aboard has turned into a pile of ripe starfruit. All right, standing is supposed to be good for you, right? I can do that. We're being healthier. Can't sit down, that kills you slowly. And we got food! I am not getting more members though, but whatever. I just need fuel to survive. Oh, give me fuel. No fuel. Oh, let's see where this goes. You've made it to the vast and perilous Vesper Nebula, an endless battle between the women call them Taco Shams. Because you know what? I'm the one narrating it, I'm the one reading this, and I'm gonna say Taco Shams. A chili powder, people. I am, I'm happy I wait with Taco Shams. <laughs> and the Oculoids, a minor eyeball squid federation. Oh, the Oculus rages across the nebula. I need people. But can I rely on my attack? Captain freaking out. Grubby Cat. Click Whistle. Slap Dash. Umber. We're going for it. Uh, let's see. It's a trap! The Oculoids were merely resting their eyes. Your ship is like a baby pickle in a huge bowl of spaghetti and eyeballs. Oh, oh that's the weird. Simile I've ever heard in my life. As you sh as you sh as your airship is mercilessly pounded, you pull a squad of taco shans out of the fray and flee the scene. That was downright noble of you. Alright. Go for diplomacy and more members. Oh, I'm low on fuel, low on food. Can I make it? No. No. Oh no! Mission failed. Alas, your journey comes to an end. You've run out of fuel, and it doesn't look like anyone's going to stop to help out. You and the crew slowly starved to death. Bummer. Oh man. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Oh. E. Jeez. Ooh. Ooh no. Oh. I am. I am disappointed in myself. Grumpy Cat Captain, that is me. I'll tell you what, though. This game was a lot of fun. And I'm going to play it again. But I'm not going to record this one. Instead, I urge you to find out more about this game and try it out for yourself. Because I strongly recommend it. This was fun. It was a great take on the Oregon Trail. Uh, there was a lot of small little... Easter eggs here all over the place and that 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 kind of made it for me. It's it's funny and it's got a lot of references that I that I related to. So I think this is great. And yeah, I urge you guys to try for yourselves and let me know what you think. Till next time.